Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've decided to go through and show you all of my favorite cleaning products. Um, the reason I'm doing this one today is because when I put up my um, Clean With Me videos, I never actually show you the actual products that I'm using. So I thought this would be a good idea to sit down and actually show you each thing and why I've chosen that or why I like that particular thing. So um, I'm just going to get stuck straight into it because I do have quite a few things here. I didn't sort of realize I'd have so many products, but then when I started pulling things out of my cupboard, I realized just how much I actually have. I'll start with the bathroom stuff because that's kind of on the very top of my basket. With my bathroom, I use a mixture of sort of Enyo products, Method products, and then um, just some flushable wipes. I'll show you the Enyo products that I have first. I have the mini bathroom bundle, I think it's called, um, and I got this maybe, oh, probably no more than a year ago. Um, so basically that bundle comes with one of these sponges, or I don't know if they don't call them sponges, I don't know what they call them. One of these cleaning pads, which has sort of two different textures. And then the Bathroom Miracle, which is essentially just like a bit of a chamois or a, um, it's not a microfiber cloth, it's more like a chamois, like what you'd use to dry your car with. Um, and this thing is what is awesome about Inyo. So I use these really to do my mirrors and then the glass wall, the glass um, screens in the shower and then sometimes the counter, not always the counter, but um, depending on what I'm cleaning with that day, I sort of go between couple of different things. Um, I really do like these Enya products. So with these, all their products are kind of similar in that you just use water on the sponge or the, I don't know what they call it, it's like a, just a cleaning pad. Um, use water with the cleaning pad and then you use the Miracle to wipe it all off. And this leaves you with a streak-free streak clean. Um, and I really think that this is, if you're going to buy anything from Enyo, because it is quite expensive if you're just sort of straight up purchasing from Enyo, but if you are going to get anything, I would recommend going with the Miracle. And they have a kitchen miracle and then like a, like a living miracle. They have a different miracle for each room, basically. Um, but I would go, if you want to go, go, going to go for something, go for a miracle cloth because they are really good for leaving a street free clean. So I use those two things. And then in conjunction with that, I do use the marble paste from Enyo, which I freaking love this stuff. It's essentially just a, um, a cream cleanser and it smells freaking amazing. It's got like a a citrusy scent which um, you'll find with a lot of these products they don't sort of have that kind of scent they kind of just smell a bit gross um, so this like I say it's a cream cleanser I use this to get off any um, not only in the bathroom but usually in the bathroom usually to get off any soap scum that's sort of more hardened onto my shower screen um, you can also use it I've used it on like um, Owen's a couple times drawn on the his little table, like his little table that he sits onto his colouring or to eat his dinner and that kind of thing. He's drawn that with texture and you can use this to remove that. I do use this in the kitchen as well. I've used it in my oven on my oven screen. Um, it's really, really a good cleanser. The it's the same sort of thing as, say, Jif or Gumption, um, but it's better, I'm going to say. It's less abrasive. So with, I find with Jif and the Gumption as well, um, they are cream cleansers, but they have a little gritty bits in them. Whereas this, although it's still abrasive, um, like you wouldn't want to use it on like a polished surface, I don't think. Um, it is still abrasive, but it doesn't have little bits in it. It's very, very smooth. Um, I really, really like it. It says, even though it's called marble paste, that is because you it has it contains marble in the actual product. It's not for use on marble, which I think a lot of people get confused about. But um, by the way, I'm not affiliated with Enya or anything like that. I just have been enjoying their products for the last year or so. Um, just, just so that's clear. But yeah, anyway, it, I do really recommend the marble paste. It does seem like it's expensive when you're first buying. I think it's around the $50 mark for this little tub, which is 300 mils. Um, it does seem expensive when you're buying it, but um, I mean, I've had it for a year and I do use it quite regularly and it's only like, there's only a tiny little dent in it. So it does last really, really well. Um, and it does, you can use it as well with just a regular cloth. Like I sometimes use it just with a regular microfiber cloth. Um, you don't need to have, really, you don't have to have the new products to be able to use this. I also recently bought a big pack of these microfiber cloths. I got them from Audi, but you can get them at other places as well. This is the Audi brand. Um, I got a huge pack of these. And I use that as well for my cleaning my surfaces and things. So sometimes I'll use the Enyo, sometimes I'll just use one of these if my Enyo's in the wash or something. And I do also use paper towels as well if something is particularly grotty, like um, if something's been spilled and I don't want to sort of mess up my cloths too much, um, I will use a paper towel just to sort of get rid of the... Um the immediate dirt kind of thing. Um, also, I my bathroom to clean down my tiles. You can just use the Enyo as it is, but every now and again, I do like to go through with an actual bathroom cleaner. Um, this is the Method bathroom cleaner. It is the eucalyptus, the eucalyptus mint scent. Um, 
and it's basically dissolves soap, some um, kills mold and mildew stains. So that's that one. I do like this one. I do also, if I've got mildew or mold or anything like that, I do like to use white vinegar because that um, will obviously kill the the mold straight up. The reason I like um, the method products is because they are plant based. There are chemicals in there, but I think the majority of their stuff is, um, yeah, like I say, plant based. So it's a little bit more friendly. The non toxic plant based power green technology. I don't mean if that's complete, don't know if that means it's completely non toxic. I'm sure you wouldn't want to drink it, but it doesn't, when you breathe in the scent, it doesn't smell like it's going to kill you, basically. <laughs> so I do like the bathroom cleaner. And then I also do have the daily shower cleaner, which this is the ylang ylang scent. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, and this you're meant to sort of after you get out of the shower or, you know, daily, you're meant to spray this on your shower screens and your tiles and everything. And you're not meant to have to wipe it off. I always forget about this. I do like it, but like I say, I forget about it every, like all the time. Um, I have it like sitting up in my shower as well. So it's right there, but I just always, always forget. I think I'm always, you know, just preoccupied with getting out of the shower and getting a towel <laughs> rather than just spraying down the shower. But um, I do like it. So if it's something that you think that you might remember to use, I would recommend this. It's pretty cool. Um, I do like it. So in the bathroom, like I say, if um, I'm not using my Enyo that day or if I just are doing a quick clean up of the counters, I will use a flushable wipes. Now I do not flush these in the toilet, no way. Um, I do throw them in the bin and I don't like to use these all the time because the environment. Um, but I do like these. They have a lemon scent. These are from Audi. Um, I just like them for the countertop. That's everything for the bathroom. Um, so the kitchen, again, I do have the Enyo, the mini bundle, the kitchen mini bundle. I do have the kitchen mini bundle from Enyo. Um, again, I've had this for about a year now, maybe maybe a little bit longer, I don't know. Um, but I do really like this, but I don't use these every day. You can, um, but I just don't for some reason. I don't know why. I think because but you have to wash them after you've used them and they get grotty quite quickly. So I just don't end up using them. Um, I believe that this is the one you're meant to use sort of as your, um, you call, I don't even know what you call them. They, I think they call, call them fibers. I think that's what they call them is the kitchen fiber and the bathroom fiber and that kind of thing. Um, but this is meant to be like, like the, the fiber that you use to wipe down your counters and everything. Um, I didn't know that until I recently went to an annual party. I've been using this one, which I actually think this one is meant to be, I don't know. I, I need to really ask the consultant because I don't think I don't think I use them correctly but what I do anyway is I use this one to wipe down my counters and I use this one to clean off my um it's not a range hood what do you call it a um exhaust fan there's like a fan above the the stove and it gets really greasy because obviously everything comes out of the the pots and pans and this just takes it off with just water it's amazing I just was very shocked when I saw this for the first time um I use this one the other side is plain but I use this to scrub things so like I said, the last party I was at, I said that to the consultant. She was like, no, no, you're doing it wrong. But it works, so I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, this one as well has a little scratchy pad. I don't really use that, though. And then I have the Miracle because that came with the bundle. Um, and this, like I say, gives you a really nice finish on, especially our stainless steel appliances. I use this on my toaster, my kettle, my coffee maker, that kind of thing. Um, and this gives a really nice shiny finish to anything that you're sort of wiping down with these. Um, so that's the Enyo stuff. Again, I don't always use the Enyo. I will use paper towel in my kitchen um, and I will use those microfiber cloths that I showed you from Aldi. Um, and then the sprays and things that I use, I generally, up until sort of more recently when I found the Method products, I had always used cleaning vinegar to spray down my countertops and everything like that. Um, and I find this works really, really well. I do have some of the Method products like the spray and wipe products but to be honest I do think the vinegar just work works just as well it's a million times cheaper um it, I just find it is a better clean and obviously it's vinegar so it's disinfecting as well the only thing about this one is that it doesn't smell very nice it just smells like vinegar so that's where I sort of think I have tended to lean towards the method products lately I do think though once I've used up what I've got already. I think I've got these two on the go and then I do think I have another one of the pink in my cupboard. So once I've used everything up, I think I am just going to go back to using the vinegar because I do think it's a better cleaning product. It's cheaper and I think it's just better overall. I might actually keep one of these spray bottles and put my vinegar in it and then it will look prettier on my counter. Um, anyway, so these are the ones I have. These smell really nice, which is why I bought them in the first place. So they are good, but I do find they leave a bit of a residue on the countertops. This is the cucumber scent. It's just very fresh. I do like it. And then this one is the pink 
grapefruit, which this one is okay. It is like, I, I like the scent, but I think I prefer the cucumber one. And these are just the all purpose, naturally derived surface cleaners. So I do like these, but I think I am going to go back to using just vinegar because all the reasons I have just pointed out. Recently, I have started using the Method Smarty Dish Plus dishwasher pods. Again, not sponsored by Method, although Method, if you would like to sponsor me, go right ahead. Now, I don't sort of see a huge difference between these and the other ones that I've used, which I believe are the finished like Powerball ones. They've got the red, little red ball in the middle and they're blue and white, little square ones. Um, but I like these. These are nice. I think I'll buy them again. And if you have watched any of my videos, any of my whole videos where I've gone to Big W, you will have seen the Method dish soap before. I buy like two of these every single time I go to Big W because I'm terrified that one day I will run out or they'll stop selling them or something like, God forbid. But I freaking love this dish soap. I will never buy another dish soap as long as they still make this. I love it. It is, I get the Clementine scent and I have freaking love the scent. Apparently they make this scent in the all-purpose thing, but they don't sell it in my Big W. Also, I love the bottle. I think it looks nice, but the actual pump on top is really easy to use. Like it doesn't get clogged. It gives you the right amount of detergent when you're using it. Um, I find that particularly with, it was, it was when um, Owen was having bottles more often and sometimes he would throw them out of his cot and they would roll under his cot and I couldn't find them. And then the next, you know, a couple hours later I would find them, but the milk, the, the formula had been sitting in them for a little while. Um, and the smell of the formula had really soaked into the bottles. It was absolutely disgusting. And the only thing that would get that scent out of those bottles was this dish soap. So that is where I fell in love with it. I think it's amazing. I would recommend this until the cows come home. I freaking love this dish soap. Buy it if you can. It's not even that expensive. Like, Compared to other, like I suppose it is more expensive than, you know, like your morning fresh or something like that, but it's so much better. It's so good. Please go buy this. Anyway, I have a love affair with that dish soap. My laundry products. So for the last, how long have I lived out of home? I don't know. 10 years? Longer? What about 10 years? I have been using this in my washing. It is the Fab... Fragrance Temptations in the Spice Allure scent, and I get the bulk pack from Big W because it's cheaper that way. Um, I just really like the smell of this. There is no other reason that I purchased this product. There's a car just outside my window. I wonder, and they're not stopping good. Um, the I just like the smell, and I like the. Um, it does clean my clothes quite well. I am doing the kids' clothes, particularly when Owen was a baby, or both when the kids were babies, and they would have a lot of spit up, or they'd have nappy stains, that kind of thing. I'd use um, Vanish as well in with the Fab dish. What do you call it? The Fab laundry detergent. I would use this as well. So just a capful of this. This is Vanish nappy sand gold oxy action, um, and this is just basically a stain remover. I don't do what it says to do on the packet. It does say to like sort of mix it with water and then add it to your washing or you know you can soak your washing in it I just chuck it in there I don't know if I'm using it to its full potential but that's what I do and it seems to work I do notice the difference if I do the kids clothes and they've got lots of dirt and stuff on them um, and I don't put this in I notice that it doesn't clean quite as well so this stuff's good my husband's workout gear which absolutely reeks or if I'm doing um like if Owen's had nappy stains or something um, on his clothes or something just that I feel like needs a little bit of disinfecting, I will put eucalyptus, eucalyptus oil in there as well. Just like a little capful of this, maybe a couple capfuls, depending on how big my load is. Um, I remember that a woman that I used to work with, she used to work out a lot and she would do a lot of that washing. And I remember saying to her, my husband's clothes always stink. How do you not have stinky workout gear? And she said she would use eucalyptus oil. And I was sort of like, doesn't that mean your clothes are going to smell of eucalyptus oil? It doesn't. It really doesn't. You can't even, like once it's gone in, you smell when you're pouring it in, obviously, but the actual clothes come out just smelling fresh. They don't smell like sweat at all, which is delightful. So <laughs> I do go with this. I also use this in um, the vaporizer. If the kids are sick um, and they need a vaporizer on in their bedroom at night, I'll put the eucalyptus oil in there. Um, it's really quite good. So I would recommend that as well. And it's pretty inexpensive. Um, the last thing is just a couple of random things that I will use. Um, the first off is a squirt and mop hard floor cleaner from Method again. This is the Jin Ginger Yuzu. I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, squirt and mop one. So this smells freaking amazing. I almost want to drink it. Um, and I use this with my mops when I'm mopping the floor, which I don't do often enough. But when I do, I use this. Um... And I really, really like it. It gets a really good clean. I feel like it doesn't leave a residue on my floors. I have laminate flooring in the majority of my house. And then the bedroom and the living room, I have real jarrah. So um, 
particularly with a laminate, you can sort of see if it's left a residue on it. Um, and this I find doesn't do that. This is good. I also use the Pino Clean if there has been an incident where I feel like I really need to disinfect the floor, I will use Pino Clean. This is usually if my kids have had gastro and they have vomited on the floor, which is, oh, and not so much Taylor. Um, and it's only happened one time. Knock on wood. Good Lord. I hope that never happens again. I'm sure it will, but it's horrible. Um, I will use Pino Clean to clean vomit or again, if Owen has had, when he was a baby, he had a couple of incidences where he just pooed on the floor. Pino Clean. I just don't trust anything that is not Pino Clean to clean that kind of disgustingness. In case you've never heard of it, the Magic Eraser is freaking amazing. This again, it is an abrasive product. So you don't want to use this on anything with a surface that you don't want to mess up. I've seen Pinterest hacks and they just sort of, particularly with the toilet and they say, just chop up your Magic Eraser and put it in the toilet bowl and it will just fix all your water, all your toilet problems. They don't work like that. It is an abrasive thing. What it's doing when you're using it is taking off the layer of dirt or the stain or whatever. It's not got chemicals in it that are amazing. No, it is the actual, it's taking that layer off. So this isn't going to work for those kind of Pinterest hacks that you may have seen. This is, that's, that makes me laugh when I see those. Um, this one is a generic one. It doesn't work as good as, I think it's the Chucks that make the original. I'm pretty sure. Um, this one doesn't work as good, but it still does the job. I think this one was from Audi. I can't remember. But if you haven't used a magic eraser before, and especially if you have kids, get one because they're very good for taking off marks off the wall and things like that. Um, I also, like I say, use it in my sink. For my sink, I have a ceramic sink from Ikea and it scuffs up a lot on the bottom and using a magic eraser gets a lot of those scuffs out. So we we'll definitely recommend this and that. That was my last product. So that is everything I use sort of on a daily basis. I do obviously use like other stain removers and things um, on the odd occasion, but this was sort of my weekly sort of cleaning stuff that I would use every week. So... I hope you found that helpful. If you have any other questions about my cleaning routines or if there's a specific cleaning routine or cleaning video you want to see, because I have found you guys have really enjoyed those lately. Um, if there is a specific cleaning routine you want to see, please leave a comment down below and I will try and film that kind of thing um, for you. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.